Hello. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a robin mask or domino. Um, the first thing that I like to have is a reference model. So I have this model that I got. I uploaded to Fusion 360. Um, to upload a model in Fusion 360, um, you just go up to Show Data Panel and click Upload and select File and upload your file. I size this um, head to be roughly the size of my head. Um, to do something like that, it's pretty simple. Uh, first, you want to go into Inspect, Measure, and to see um, what size the model is when you upload it. And this will give you the measurements. Um, just if you want to check the other measurements, restart, click here and here. And that will give you the measurements of the head. Um, if it's not quite right, you can just go into Modify, scale and then you just click on the head and you can do a uniformed or non-uniformed um, and that will scale um, the head in a different direction so you just click here oh the scaling's over here so um, x y and z um, and then you can scale however you want it to match the size of your head or whoever's head you're making it for. All right, so the first thing I usually do um, to make the, a domino is sketch it out. Um, I sketched a simple one out here. Um, to uh, create a sketch, you just go to sketch, create a sketch, pick the plane, and then all the functions are here. Um, line and um, spline are the two I use the most. Um, I use spline a little differently than most people use it. How I like to use it is I'll click on the spot and then I say I want to, I want this a curved line here and I'll click at where I want to end it at. And I don't always do like make a curve like this. I um, I like making it another way. Um, so I'll, I will get out of here. Oops, I didn't want to get out of there that far. So I'll click here and click here and then hit check mark and then I will hit select and then I'll click on the on the line right click and then I will insert spine point spline points and I'll put a point here maybe a point here and a point here and then I will select and then this is how I'll make my curve so I want a nice little curve like that uh, I have it sticking to the lines but this is how I use spline a lot um, to make curved lines. That's how I made this line in here, um, these lines here. Um, but yeah, it's a very, I, I find this way a better way of doing it than um, they have a um, kind of curve I don't like and I don't like arc. So I just make it this way. Um, so yeah, so this is my mask, just a simple mask. I'm going to use this as a guideline to make my um, my mask um, so I have that I have my I have my head so what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to basically build a mask right on top of a model and that will give me the curve that I want instead of making a flat model and then have to curve it later um, I just use this head right now for the eyes um, so what I did was I made a more simple model of the head um, to build on, on. When I when I try building on this model, a lot of times it gives me some weird curves I don't like. Um, it's too complex, like in the eyes and stuff like that. So I, I built a more simpler model um, to build on top of. And so this is the model I'll build on top of. I can show you how I made this model. It's pretty simple. Um, so I just went into, um, had my model here. I'll hide the, hide the drawing. And I went into create form. And as you can see, this stays here. And I just created a quad ball. Um, I used quad ball um, more than sphere. Sphere gives some weird, um, weird geometries in the north and south pole of the sphere, um, where all the um, lines meet and the quad works much better so I usually use quad so I, I made a quad and I picked that spot and I put it here and I just pulled it out and 
Uh, I'll move it later. I um, usually put more than two two band faces. I usually put four. Four is a good number. And hit OK. And then just move that guy up. Move. And just put it up there. OK. And then I um, got rid of this. And then I just deleted these bottom pieces here. And I'll flatten it out. And then I just selected everything here and went to modify and then I hit hold control. Oh no, sorry, alt. I always get those mixed up. Alt. I hold alt and then I scroll down and that will give me another row of boxes. If you do not hold alt, it will just stretch it. So I wanted to add another row just just to um Uh, just to make it like a the, the, the match the shape of the head kind of I want to go past the nose so I'll make another another one hold alt go down again hold, hold alt again go down again until I'm past the nose that looks good hit okay um, so I have this basic shape I have I can shape it more to be more like the head if I wanted to um, uh, to do that just you can go into um, you select your uh, boxes you want to move. Oh, actually, first you what you want to do is you want to make it sim um, symmetric. So you go into um, symmetry, and you want internal mirror, and you just click to where you want the symmetry at. So I click uh, I click these two boxes, so it automatically puts it there. Now I can shape it up. So I can go into uh, modify and click on some of these boxes here. I want to pull those out. I don't have to click both sides actually. It's symmetric so they're both going to go out. You can pull that out here. It's got a little weird shape there. I can always pull that up here. Just pull it out. And that's basically how I made the, um, the shape to fit the, uh, uh, the basic shape to fit the head. And then um, for the nose, um, all I did was I did uh, I hit actually hit this one and did face and then um, oops it's sticking to something weird I hit face and then you have to do snap to object and that will snap it to the this model here and I just made a quick tracing I call it tracing of the of the basic shape of the nose, um, you're gonna try to want, you're gonna want to try to make um, boxes. The the software likes boxes the most. I mean, you can make triangles, but uh, I I don't like the multi-sided one. It doesn't really work well. I usually use the four-sided one. It works the best. Um, and luckily, you only have to make half of things here. So I made half the nose, and all I do is do um, symmetry, and then I do mirror duplicate, and then click on it, and then hit this. And it makes two, so all I do is hit the mirror plane, and that was I hit uh, the the plane right here, this plane right here, and it made two, and I hit OK, and they're a little far apart, but I can weld it, so I go to modify, weld, and just weld. You click on the first one, click on the second one, first one, second one, first one, second one. Let's see here, first one, second one, and so on, and there we go. We have our nose. And you can see um, it has that line in the middle. A green line means it's symmetric. And that's how I made the basic head shape. Um, I'm not going to use this one since I already made a, um, another one. So I'm just going to get out of this. Uh, I'm going to go back to edit form. Yeah. All the way back there. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to go all the way back. Hopefully, it'll go back. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to do undo create. All right. So then I'm back to my back to my general shape, which I made right here. All right. So I have this shape. And now I'm going to use this shape to make my mask. All right. To make my mask, I need my sketch. And then I need to go back into create form. So I go into create form. As you can see, that creation I made is still here it's invisible so 
whatever when you go into create a form, whatever you leave up, it will it will show it will, it will, it will be in the um, create form window. So if I hit create form, you'll see both of them are here. Um, but I don't want that one. I just want this one. So I have that and oh my nose is uh, this way. So I hit create form and there we go. So I'm just going to go up front. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, build that right on top of this by using a sketch. And we'll be using um, faces, which is one of my favorite things to use. And then you have to make sure you click snap to object. So what I'm going to do here is just trace over this. Just trace over it. Make like a, I can make as many boxes as I can. Um, if I can't make a box, I'll make a triangle. Or, um, but yeah, box and triangles are, are everything I try to use the most. And now let's go so on and so on and so on through here. And this, this is going to be a very quick one. I um, would be a little, I would make smaller boxes to get the curve better. Um, but I'm just trying to show you the basics here. So I'm um, just going to go through here, like I said, really quickly if I can. And here, here, here. Just trace it out. And the, and the great thing about this is, like, if you do it this way, oh, I didn't connect it. You want to make sure you connect it. So I'm just going to delete that one and redo it. Um, the, the great thing here is um, I like doing it this way for the fact that if I did it, didn't do it this way, I would not get this curve. See how it's building on top of it's building on top of the mass, so I get this curve automatically instead of making something flat and then having to pull it to this curve. It will make uh, it makes it a much cleaner um, uh, look to it because sometimes you, when you're trying to shape this, it doesn't shape perfectly fine. Um, in this, you already have a nice curve um, going, so you don't have to pull it that much. So I'm just going to finish this up here just to show you what I do. Um, there we go. And then here, here to here. And here to here to here to here. Here to here to here to here. And it's, like I said, you only have to make a half a mask. Um, that's all I ever do is make something a half of some. Oops, don't want that one. Um, all I do is ever make is a half of something and then mirror it unless it's not symmetric. And there we go. So we got our mask. And then you can see it automatically curves it out, um, um, which is nice. So we have that. And then so I'm going to go to symmetry, duplicate, mirror, hit there. And then it automatically goes to the plane. What do you want to mirror? I'm going to use this one right here. And here we go, we got two. Now you can see it's not welded together. It doesn't have that green line that shows it's symmetric, so we're going to weld them together. Weld vertices um, right there and right there. Right there and right there. Right there and right there. And right there and right there. And there we go. So we have a mask that um, curves. It's got the nose curve kind of. and. It's a very simple mask, um, but it's only it's not really a three-dimensional model yet, so you have to thicken it. So you just go into Modify, uh, where is Thicken? Thicken, um, click on it. Um, I usually always thicken outward, so it's, it's showing the outward, our, our going, the arrow going in this way, so I will say a negative. And usually three to four millimeters is a good um, thickness for a mask or a helmet. I'm going to do three. I use like, like a little thinner for a mask so it can flex. And there you go. It now thickened it. And now we have the mask. And finish form. And there we go. A very simple um, Robin, Robin mask. Or you got something like that. Um, I, I actually worked on this one. I made a little more complex one uh, working on it. As you can see, I added a little more detail to it. But that's the basics of how, I, how, I, how to make a um, mask pretty quickly in uh, Fusion 360.